Hey guys, this is the Chins 100 amp hour lead acid replacement battery. This battery is used for solar, RV, golf cart type applications. You can series these batteries up to a 48 volt pack and you can also parallel them together to get more amp hours. We have a pretty standard case here. We've all seen these ABS cases with our terminal lugs on top. That's different. There's something inside of this battery. I wonder if there's loose change in here. Okay, so that's uh, different. I can hear something knocking around inside the case. I'm not sure what that's all about. I guess we'll find out. Let's run a capacity test on this battery and then we're gonna crack it open and see what's inside. And the discharge test on the Chins battery is now complete. And we have finished the test early by one hour. And as you can see at the bottom left, we have 85.487 amp hours. Now that is below the 100 amp hour rating. What I believe has happened, three of the four cells are higher than one cell. I believe one cell is running low. So I'm gonna fire back on the load and we'll see together uh, what voltage the cells actually disconnect. Let's turn my charger off so that we're not getting anything from that. Okay, now we are getting just below 12 volts. This is about five, 10 minutes later. So I'm gonna continue. You're gonna see in a couple seconds here that the BMS is gonna kick out. It should be kicking out around 10.5 volts, but it's gonna kick out very shortly. And there you go. From what I can see, it was somewhere around 19.8 volts. The BMS has tripped. I have no voltage now. And if I connect my bench power supply, it will turn the BMS back on. And now the voltage has jumped back up to 12.34. So that is telling me that there is an unbalanced cell within this pack. That's the first time this has happened to me. So next I'm gonna open this up and we're gonna see what's inside and try and figure out which cell is screwed up. Thing is banging around inside of here. So a little strange, let's open it up and see what's in here. Maybe there's like a, a chins token or something. And if I find it, I get free batteries for life. I'm a little worried about whatever is knocking around in there. I mean, if that's metallic or some sort of metal and it, you know, contacts the post, could have an issue on your hands. Do not open these batteries at home. You could damage something. You could spray electrolyte everywhere. Man, there's that freaking glue smell. I should really be wearing a mask when I do this. And the reveal. What is moving around in there? Whoa. This is um, this is actually not even the Chin's batteries that I'm used to seeing. If you look down in here, you can see this is actually using pouch cells, not prismatic cells. I didn't know chins went to pouch cells. This battery is actually using pouch cells, not prismatic cells. All the reviews I've ever seen of people opening these batteries, it's always been prismatic cells, not pouch cells. So that's kind of a bummer. I want to find out what is knocking around. Let's get this lid out of the way. So it's kind of a bummer that uh, a company has had reviewers out there review their battery. They've opened them up and then they change what the internals are once they're on the market. Not cool, Chins, not cool. Oh yeah, it's coming. Nothing fell out. Oh, a bolt. Okay, so this bolt just fell out. Where's this bolt? Oh, oh, look at that. Let me get my chair over here. My, I'm recording. 
So on this Chins battery, they are using um, pouch cells. So they're using lithium iron phosphate pouch cells, not prismatic cells. And how they have it fastened is they have a bolt, a bolt, and a bolt, and a missing bolt. So I didn't even find a nut. Or was that what was banging around? Let me see if I can find the nut. I don't even see a nut anywhere. Did it fall on the floor? Oh, I really gotta clean my garage. Okay, so there's not even a nut. Yeah, so they've completely missed the nut for this. They just put it together and then uh, missed the nut. So that was the knocking noise. The knocking noise was this probably inside of here banging back and forth inside the bottom here. They do have a shipping strap on here. It is uh, putting a lot of pressure on this cell holder. I don't know why they would need to put a shipping strap if they had bolted all four of these. I guess in case they forget, they add the shipping strap. So pretty poor quality control. The battery cables, we have a pair of eight gauge, 200 degree silicone wire, and that's gonna be the same on the negative. That runs directly to the battery positive terminal. And then the negative runs into the B minus of the BMS and runs out of the P minus of the BMS. Uh, we have hydraulic crimps. Everything looks good. We only have a high temperature sensor, which is gonna be this white wire here, which I can see the thermal probe down here and it looks like a 75 uh, degree Celsius BMS that they're using. So we have a 100 amp, looks like charge, 100 amp discharge. This is a VIP BMS and all the other information if you want to pull and have a look, there it is. Now, like I had shown in my discharge test, one of these cells is not testing properly. So let's poke around um, with a voltmeter and see, cause I'm still at a low uh, state of charge. So I should be able to probe out and see which one of these cells is no good. So from here to here is the first cell. And then it's gonna be from here to here is second cell. And then from here to here is gonna be third cell. And from here to here is gonna be fourth cell. So we can see we have uh, three volts, 3.02. And then across here, we have 3.25. 3.25 and 3.25. So the problem is gonna be the first cell. And hooking up my little probe device here, the deviation, we have 73 millivolts deviation between the cells. Charge it up and then we'll see what the deviation is at the top. Okay, as you can see, 73. Now let's kick the charger on. So now we're over 200 millivolts difference. So 241, I believe I seen is the uh, difference in the cells. So my final thoughts on this Chins battery, I'm giving it a fail. It did not perform the way it should have. The capacity was not there. It was under its rated capacity. In all honesty, I'm not gonna say that Chins battery is lying. I'm gonna say that they're being misleading. Nowhere in any of their marketing are they suggesting that they use prismatic cells. If you look through the manual, you look on their website, there's no mention of what type of cells they're actually using. But I'm gonna say they're being misleading because I believe what they are doing is they're building a certain amount of batteries with prismatic cells. They're initially sending those out, people are reviewing them, and they're going, great, prismatic cells, not pouch cells. And then after a certain amount of time, they're switching the manufacturing process to use pouch cells, which is a much cheaper cell to manufacture. There's nothing wrong with pouch cells. They work, but they're a lot cheaper to use than prismatic cells, which is what everybody is thinking that they're getting. I thought I was getting prismatic cells. I thought I was getting specific prismatic cells. 
I have future project ideas where I need 100 amp hour prismatic cells. And I was very disappointed when I opened this up and realized that they were pouch cells. So I'm not sure if you could notice in the earlier part in the video when I initially opened this up and seen the pouch cells, I was a little disappointed. So yeah, this battery failed my capacity test by like 15 or 16 amp hours. Uh, cell number four seems to be an issue. I believe what I'm gonna do, I'll do it in another video, is I will test the resistance between the cells. And then also what I think I'll do is I'll put a discharge on the one cell that's high right now for a top balance. I'll put about two amps of a discharge and then I will put two amps on my bench power supply and bring the other three cells up to match that higher cell. So it's hopefully going to equal itself out. Um, as far as being able to just cycle the battery for the BMS to top balance it itself, this is going to take an extreme amount of time. I mean, we're talking 15 to 16 amp hours out of balance. And I'm guessing that this VIP BMS can only do like 20 or 30 milliamps of balancing. So, I mean, 20 or 30 milliamps of balancing, you're talking a, a quite a lot of time to balance out that 15 or 16 amp hours of deviation. So, I'm giving the Chins battery a fail. Um, this is it for this review for now. I will probably revisit this pack in a later video. I have other projects to get to. If you're looking for a substitute for this battery, USB Times is running a sale. I will put the information at the bottom of the screen here. I believe it's March 15th or 16th and you get 6% off of their battery. I've reviewed their 12 volt 200 amp hour battery and they used good prismatic cells and it passed all my tests. So I'm gonna recommend the USB Times battery to you all as a substitute for chins. So I'll leave links in the description below, check them out. So yeah, that's, uh, that's it for this video. Very disappointing, but Thank you for watching. Bye.